Are you sick of Pokemon games being too easy? Don't you wish that instead of a game for babies, that Pokemon was instead a game for adults that are three months behind on rent and have not paid the IRS? But what about Nuzlocks? What is this, the 1970s? Everyone and their grandma has been a Nuzlocke. I have. Shut up. Welcome back to Palace App Entertainment. My name is Carlos, aka professional Pokemon coloring book owner, and currently I'm trying the hardest Pokemon challenge in the world. It's called Kaizo Ironmon. Basically, you get one Pokemon with random stats and abilities and try to take him to the end of the game. Also, you can't heal outside of battle and all items are randomized. Why? Why? I'm going to beat you up. That's why. Yeah, if you beat Kaizo Ironmon, Nintendo sends you a life-size Lucario plushie and awards you with the title of Mr. Pokemon. Trust me, I'm a JPEG. Well, actually, I'm a PNG. Enough talk. Let's start. I'm going to divide this guy into three parts so it's easily digestible. The random section, the things you can't do section, and the things you need to watch out for section. Let's start with the random section. But first, a little setup info for you nerds out there. In order to play Kaizo Ironmon, you need a legal ROM of Pokemon Fire Red. Then you need to install an intro skip, a randomizer, and a tracker to track the Pokemon you encounter and their abilities. I'm going to leave a link to the Discord with all that technical mumbo jumbo blah blah blah. Shut up. After booting up the game and spending 42 hours coming up with the perfect name, I recommend checking out your tracker and setting your three favorite Pokemon, as these Pokemon can be chosen despite the random ball pick at the start of each game. Every time you die in Kaizo Ironmon, you have to reset, and that means starting in a new world with new items and new starting Pokemon. Pokemon. Regardless, every run starts with you talking to your mom and warping you to Professor Oak, as she always does. <laughs> Easy joke. When you get to the lab, you're going to want to pick up the item on the right. That's normally the item in your PC at the start of the game, except this time, it's random, and it can be anything, even a forest store. In this case, all we got was charcoal, like we do every Christmas. Santa. It's random Pokemon time. The tracker is going to give you a randomly selected ball to pick from. And the Pokemon inside can be anything. You can also ask your chat to help you pick. If you're a streamer, check out twitch.tv slash if you're interested in seeing me run Kaizo Ironmon. Ha, I snuck it into the real footage. Get a real job. Keep in mind that things can get tribal. Left gang, right gang, mid gang, baby. Before you lock in your Pokemon, make sure your Pokemon's BSC is less than 600. BSC is the overall potential a Pokemon can have. And the higher the number, the higher its ceiling. Capping the BSC at 600 keeps you from smoking this challenge with the Mewtwo or another legendary. You chose right. I recommend checking out all the other Pokemon first so you can see what you missed out on. Latias would have been banned, so we would have had to pick another Pokemon. Wailord is cool, but not the best. But in this seed, we gotta pick right. And it looks like we got Roomish. Nice. I'm gonna name him Joe. What's up, Joe? Before battling your rival, it's a good idea to learn the four randoms. Random items, abilities, stats, and moves. In this case, let's take a look at the random items. Looks like Joe is holding some energy powder. It sure is a good thing I remember to take it off of him and put it in my bag in this footage I recorded. Mm -mm. Moving on, let's check Joe's random ability, Static. This isn't Joe's normal ability. His Pokemon and Kaizo Ironmon are genetic freaks that can have any ability in the game. Static in this case makes it so that if anyone tries punching Joe, they have a slight chance of being paralyzed. You can view more detailed info by clicking on the tracker. Now let's check out what is arguably the most important stat in the game, and that's the random stats. Looks like Joe has decent health and one more special attack than attack, but what matters the most in Kaizo Ironmon is speed, because hitting first can be the difference between life and death. 11 is pretty bad, but hopefully it's enough to outspeed this giant whale. Oh yeah! We can't forget about Joe's random moveset. Joe would never self-destruct since he's a fighting champion with the wife and kids. Calm Mind would just be a waste of a turn. Now we're just left with Solar Beam and Dynamic Punch. I'm willing to bet that Joe is faster than this whale and hopefully we can tank a hit and one shot this thing with our Solar Beam. However, it's important to note that in Kaizo Ironmon, all encounters are level boosted 50%. Unlike previous Pokemon games where you and your rival start at the same level, now he's a higher level than you and his AI is programmed to kill you in the game and in real life. No worries though, I believe in Joe. You can do it Joe, do it for your wife and kids. Oh, looks like Wailord hit first. No worries, I'm sure Joe can dodge his next uproar and then hit him with the solar beam and Joe's dead. A moment of silence for Joe. Smash like, pay your respects. Thankfully though, you can reset your game with a few button presses and get back in the action. So let's do this one last time. Pick your name, talk to your mom, grab the random item, and pick your randomly selected Pokemon. In my case, I got a Sunflora. You don't want to be like this. 
This is disgusting. And I hate Sunflora, so I named him Deadmo. Don't forget the four randoms though. In this case, Deadmo was only holding a random upgrade, so I didn't bother taking it off of him. Although he's faster than Joe and has higher special attack, I hate him because he's ugly. He also has Swift Swim, which is useless unless it's raining. So I'm thinking this guy is pretty much dead. And somehow he wins. I guess now would be a good time to explain Pivot Pokemon. If for whatever reason you have decided that your Pokemon isn't cut out to be champion, or it just looks ugly, you can pivot to another Pokemon. Pokemon out in the grass. Just keep in mind though that you can only catch one Pokemon per route and that your pivot must be your Pokemon's level or lower. Also they can't be above 600 BSC so this beautiful Salamence isn't a legal catch. In my situation, I got fed up with looking for a perfectly level 7 pivot Pokemon, so I chose this level 6 Pikachu. Who knows, maybe we can grab a random Thunderstone along the way, and it can evolve into something cool. By the way, evolutions are random too, so maybe we can get a sick Electrovire, and we're dead. Skyrim joke. At this point, you may start feeling discouraged at the fact that Youngster Joey just stomped our head in. That's totally normal. We have to keep re-rolling, and we're bound to find something good. Much like Sisyphus, we must continue rolling the boulder or something something live laugh love. Do not want this Lucario. Anyways, it's time for the things you can't do section. Most of these things only really start applying once you make it out of the lab, so pay attention. You can't kill wild Pokemon for experience. You can't heal outside of battle. You can't leave a dungeon once you've entered it. And you can't use TMs off the floor. Normally, when you get stomped by a trainer, a good idea is to head into some wild grass and kill some Pokemon. In Kaizo Ironmon, that is not an option since you can't kill wild Pokemon. Instead, what you can do is focus on getting items. However, However, unlike the base game, the only items you can buy at the Pokemart are Pokeballs and Repels. So that makes it so you have to rely on the items you get in the open world. But since all items are random, it's generally a good idea to scope out an area and get all the items including hidden items before you battle any trainers. Items you get are vital as you can only nope. use healing items in battle. The good news is that you can always go back to the Pokemon Center and heal as long as you are not in a dungeon. I just wish I knew this my first 400 resets. Additionally, your Pokemon can only hold berries, gems, and herbs, but not items like leftovers, charcoal, etc. Another Kaizo exclusive rule is that you can't leave dungeons without beating them. Dungeons include things like caves, gyms, and plot relevant buildings like Sylphco and Fire Red. Clearing out the mandatory trainers first makes it so that if you find yourself low on HP, you can just leave the dungeon rather than fighting through an extra gauntlet of trainers when you're low on health. This makes it so you have to prioritize HP or potentially getting more XP as when you leave a dungeon, you can't refight the nope. trainers in that area. Keep in mind though that you need to be every trainer before facing a gym leader. Oh yeah, and you can't pick up random TMs off the ground. Nope. The only TMs your Pokemon can learn are from beating gym leaders and in some cases you can go to a move learner. Depending on which generation of Pokemon you're playing, HM moves are also banned for your main Pokemon and they are reserved for your HM associate. Now it's time for the things you need to watch out for section. Sedinja, the 16th student lying somewhere hidden in the school. Gonna kill you. Sedinja always spawns with Wonder Guard, so having your Pokemon have some type of coverage is usually a pretty good idea, or you might end up in a struggle battle, or even worse, dead. Destiny Bond. Destiny Bond is pretty self-explanatory. If you get bonded and you kill the Pokemon that bonded you, you're pretty much dead. A good way around this is to just throw a Pokeball and wait one turn. Or if you're like me, you could just get frozen forever. Roll the footage. I think now you can thaw. Thaw. Thaw, oh, please. Okay, chill. Chill for a little bit. Relax. 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 Now thaw. This just goes to show you how important berries are in Kaizo. Another thing to watch out for is Parish Song. There's only two things you can do if you get Parish Songed. Be faster and kill all your opponents or die. If your opponent has three or more Pokemon, just get ready to accept your death unless you have soundproof. DJ Khaled meme. Through a combination of luck and remembering the four randoms, the four things you can't do and the, and the things that'll kill you instantly, it's entirely possible that you can become Kaizo Ironmon champion, but not before me. The Lucario is mine. You can have this. Check out my Kofi if you'd like to donate to see more videos with this editing style, because this took forever. I'm just one man. I ain't got no team. I ain't got no guys. I ain't got no secretary. I had to make my own food. <laughs> I wash my own dishes. Yeah, I also do commissions there if you'd like your very own power slap doodle. Very cool. Only $9.99 and it helps support the channel. Thank you for coming by. Um, bye. Bye.